it's your girl Allie and I'm back in here again you guys with another video so today I'm actually gonna be doing a video on a lace front so this is gonna be the dream lace so I'm actually gonna be using the dream lace today um, so I'm gonna just show you guys how it actually look it's really nice oh, really you really fall you really came straight out the box. Okay, bag. Okay, all right. Weird way, weird way to start all over, but um, I mean, anyways. All right, so. All right, so it's a four deep hand tie part. Four deep hand tie part. It has a four D, uh, so it's four deep hand tied part and it has a lace front and it's heat you could do a high heat to 400 on here and it tells you to shampoo it and condition it as well and let it air dry as well to take care of it so that's very important when you get wigs um wigs or anything like that it's just to read when you, especially with these um how to actually Take care of the weed. Took a last longer. So here's the hair, you guys. This one is different from the one I had before. Look at this. Oh my goodness, y'all. They said what? Four deep weights. And it's a hand tie. Now I like hand tie part wigs, and I like the every the wigs that is just completely hand tied and don't have a part in it i like those this one is hand tied and you guys guess what i don't even i don't even have to do the baby hairs in the front you guys because it already pre pre did it and it's already pre-plucked but guess what i'm gonna go back in and and do my own little plucking a little bit more because i don't think it's plucked enough but it do have the baby little baby hairs in the front, which I do indeed like that. The fact that they already have it like that, which is definitely great. So yeah, I like it. Sorry, you guys. I like to smell my hair. I don't know if any of y'all that actually buy when you buy your your hair. I mean, I know we always feel it like you just want to feel the texture of it. You want to feel how it, how it feels going through your fingers, how it's going to be when you put it on your hair, you know, on your head, and then like actually smell it. I like to smell my hair. I mean, I don't think nothing's wrong with that. I don't like to smell it. So, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. This is a one. I wanted to get it into a different color, but. You guys, like I said, this one, you cannot bleach it. Um, you bleach it, it's, it's going to fry. It's just synthetic, so you cannot do all that. But definitely you can bleach the lace itself, but not the hair. So I don't want to mess up the hair. Okay? I've actually, corn rolling has the, it has the go well, Now I am applying the Pro... 30 second gel to my hair okay and i'm wrapping it with the wrap so it can dry the way i want it and it's dry now so here's the cap i'm basically getting ready to get the cap ready um i use the got to be glue around the outside perimeter and i use foundation to actually give the coloring of the scalp beauty on now you guys I'm looking good I am so excited mm -hmm. so the, it has two combs here but I'm going to remove the two combs that's right here um, that comes with that wig itself and the one in the back I'm going to leave the one in the back but take, remove the two in the front is what I'm explaining in the video <laughs> and right here in the middle basically you can cut that if you choose to but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and 
put it on after I had to remove everything from their hair. Um, let's get it together real quick so I can apply it to my head. <coughs> okay. All right, you guys. So, just showing you guys how I actually remove the combs from the wig itself. So just try to be extra careful when you go around. Make sure you add the thread itself when you're removing it. Be very careful because you don't want to cut the the hair or the the thread itself is holding everything. So just be very, very, very careful with that too. Okay. Okay, so I'm still trying to get that to get that together quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on, you guys, so you guys can see how it's actually look. I am so excited. I don't know. I am so excited. Oh. Yeah, so I'm basically working that now, just showing you guys how the part looked. I thought about plucking it, but I decided, you know, at the last minute, like, hey, you know what? I really don't need to pluck it. I could just put a little foundation on it. The part looks pretty good and so forth. And they already have baby hairs to it, too, so don't have to worry about that part. So as you can see, I'm putting the ghost wand uh, adhesive on and drying that up real quick, you guys. So I did three, I did three over there of that before um, putting down the lace front in the front. Okay. As you can see, I'm getting it in place. Yes. So what I did was I lay down the hair and I was playing around with the baby hair so I could see how I want it. And then I had tied it up and then basically started putting the powder. The powder is to dull the hair so the hair won't look too shiny as I showed you on both on both sides which one was and which one wasn't. Then I applied it to the whole entire head. Okay. And I was just showing you that I used the got to be in a black container now here i just basically comb the hair back and go ahead and cut off the extra lace and then i redid my baby hair the way i want it i just wanted to see how it actually looks so, yeah of course this is how it looks <laughs> after i removed the the lace that the amount of lace that i wanted to remove so just putting the hair back and I'm gonna do my baby hair. And I just clean it up with a little alcohol is what I'm doing now if you wanna know what I was doing. A little alcohol cleaning up that's the outside from where the extra lace was at. Before I do anything else right there. <coughs> Yeah, ha, 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 ha. yeah, I know, being a little goofy, but yeah, it's okay. Just combing, combing back a little bit. Okay, just making sure everything's good. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so just letting y'all see how I look in the front. So now. I'm going to get my front together. I'm just getting some things together in front of me. All right, so what I do want to do in here, I'm adding a little bit of foundation, just a little bit, just to darken it a little bit. So usually I wouldn't even do this because I already would have bleached a notch already. But... Because I don't want to take no chances with this way adding adding bleach to it, the lace. I just decided to just put a little bit of foundation within the front area. 
of the hairline. And I had a little bit of got to be frizz spray. Okay. So. And don't spray close to your eyes like I did. You know. I'm not telling you to do it. You know. Do not You do it at your own risk. That's the got to be glue that I'm actually using. And I'm just explaining to you guys that I'm, that's what I'm going to actually do with my uh, baby hair. I'm going to use the got to be um, gel. And I'm also just letting you guys know, too, that you can lay your, your lace front wig with the got to be. I do have a actual video that I showed everyone that you can use that as a last minute if you don't have um, anything to lay down your lace front wig. You definitely can use it. Um, I use it because if it's a last result, <clears throat> I'm sorry you guys, I use it if it's a last result if I don't have any adhesive and I ran out. So just basically right now taking out the baby hairs or whatnot so I can start laying it. Sorry, readjusting the camera. Alright, just wanted to show you guys how I am actually doing that now. Readjusting. Okay, so, okay. Alright, now you can see. And some of the baby hairs, you know, they, they had was there. But I just wanted to add a little bit more. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing um, with the hair. So... So, as you see, I'm just basically combing out the baby hair. I'm going to do it on both sides. I'm just going to a moment. I'm getting it all together real quick. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking good, you guys. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, you guys. Add a few more pieces because the wig did have baby hairs that was already out with it, you guys. So I'm just adding a little extra to it. And I'm going to cut that as well. You're going to see me do that real quick. And then you're going to see me go ahead and to slicken these baby hairs. Okay. So just showing you how I'm actually getting that prepared real quick. Okay. All right. So I'm um, after I do this, I'm gonna um go ahead and take the foundation that um that I have and I'm going to line it up after I tie down my baby hair. Um, I'm gonna use the foundation to uh, line out my part in my hair, and I'm also gonna show you this protein. I mean this um done and i will see each and every one of you guys tomorrow which is wednesday if you like what you see and if this is what you're looking for you stop at the right page so don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can see in each video that i'll be posting sorry guys i'm just I like uh, all over my words but if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video okay you guys so your girl will be back with each and every one of you guys tomorrow then show you guys what i have up my sleeve for tomorrow indeed so good night good night and see you guys tomorrow